fabric that was used in the piece were all recycled pieces of fabric. And some of it was just from a huge pile of fabric scraps that my grandma gave me. But oftentimes in those stockpiles, she would have unfinished projects from her. She stitched it by hand, and then she went over it with the machine in black. Super cool. I would stumble upon those and like love them because to me it was like, oh my God, like look what she was thinking about. <laughs> and so I decided to put some of that unfinished stuff from her and then finish it out myself. She taught me when I was young, when I was eight, because I had good motor skills, she said. <laughs> The quilting definitely came directly from her. Like that's something that she taught me, that we did together. The process of quilting, thinking about it as an art form was a completely different context. She worked a lot of cotton fields, and that was one of the things that she talked about a lot. When I started kind of researching what her life was in a bigger historical context and connecting the trajectory of the history of cotton and how that has affected so many lives and so many people in this country, and I really think it was just like an eye-opener to connect the dots. And so the work that I've been doing lately and all of the work that I've been researching has just been a continuous exploration of that and trying to use cotton in all these different ways. And I might not be talking specifically about a certain aspect or contextual history of cotton, but in using the cotton form or the cotton fiber in an installation, it's still like having a presence there no matter what. The union, instead of stars, I added quilt blocks that all represented abstract representations of gender identity and also images of various women's experiences. I wanted to do an American flag because all of the stories are from American women. And it was really just from memory. I wouldn't say that I'd sat down and did interviews with people, but it was really just all like experiences of women that stuck with me. You know, America is a big part of this larger continent, and I just wanted it to be representative of the people in this country, the women in this country that I was listening to, but also kind of reflect that those stories are much bigger than just this country alone. Mm -hmm.